the bootcast number eight. We are your host, Sheenoob and... Corey. And it's hot. <laughs> this is a hot <laughs> tag, in case you're wondering. And we have a very special guest here from the Ruby the Abridged series, uh, Dream of Serenity. She is the talented voice actress behind the voices of Ruby Rose and Cinder Fall for Ruby the Abridged series. Hello. So, um, very exciting to have her on today, and uh, Indie Revolution may be joining us at some point. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so episode eight, lot to unpack in this episode. Um, we'll talk a bit about Ruby the Abridged series first. So, uh, Serenity, do you want to talk a little bit about how you got into that and, um, you know, sort of kind of the process behind your involvement in it? Uh, oh. So, when I was in high school, I was part of this um, animation project that was trying to put out an animation of this book that I liked called Moss Flower from the Redwall series, and I did voice work for them, and that project died because we actually got contacted by the people who make the books, and they said, we don't want you to do this movie. And we said, oh, okay, we should probably back off before we get sued. Yeah. Years later, um, years later, our, our director got a hold of me, and he said that somebody on the project said that I had done voice acting, and he was looking for voice actors, and he wanted me to audition, so I just set one in, and, and then I got... Actually, originally, I was going to be... Was it Weiss? Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't Ruby because there was somebody else doing Ruby at the time, and I didn't have a very good mic at that point, so I didn't sound very good. And then I got a better mic, and then the girl who was going to be Ruby said she couldn't do the project, so then I got Ruby when I re-auditioned again. Mm. Yeah. So, um, and you also voiced Cinder Fall, which is quite the contrast. <laughs> yes, that um. God, I don't even think I remember what happened there. I think I just put out... Uh, I think we were short people, so I tried out for other characters, and he said I sounded like Cinder, and I actually hadn't watched Ruby at the time that I auditioned for this project. I had I didn't know anything about it. Wow. I, uh, my friend had showed me pictures, and she had showed me clips, and I had to look up clips to make to, you know, get the feel of what the characters actually sound like, but I didn't start watching the series until after we had already recorded episode one. <laughs> wow. Okay, um, in case anybody is royally confused as to what we're talking about, um, Serenity and, uh, Serenity and I both voice act for a, uh, a bridge series of Ruby called Ruby the Abridged Series. The link to the channel will be in the description. Um, they've been on hiatus for a while. They've only done the first five chapters of uh, volume one, but they're coming back making more episodes this year finally, so um, yeah, that'll be good uh, maybe if Indy hops on a bit later he actually just messaged me, sorry you can hear the Skype message <laughs> tone in there um, and we can talk a little bit about uh, that, but we'll go to your questions for now there was a few, just a few this week um, so straight out of Remnant on Twitter asks my question is between the four main characters of Ruby, who would you train with and which weapon and what would your semblance be? And then he amended it later to say, um, you can choose any, you can choose more than the four main characters. Ugh. Um, Good question. I like it. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, everybody knows I love Weiss, so mm -hmm. just, you know, I'd want to train with Weiss and you know, fight like she does, but um, I actually think of all the semblances, I like Blake's the best, mm. so I guess I'd be some kind of hybrid there, I don't know. I think I would train with Yang with Velvet's weapon and Weiss's semblance, just to be a little mm. bit too overpowered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like Weiss's weapon. I have a bit of a crush on Ren. I would like <laughs> to train with him. Um, actually, I also like... Uh, shoot, what semblance would I have? This mm. is the hard one. 
This They're is the so hard cool. one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. God, I can't even choose. I I can't even choose. I'm gonna have to go with Weiss's too. Mm-hmm. Aesthetically, she's one of my favorites. Like, yeah. um, personality wise, Ruby is my favorite, but aesthetics alone, Weiss is up there. Corey and I are huge Weiss fangirls. <laughs> we love yeah. Weiss. Um, Lauren Gibbs on Facebook asks, so Crow's semblance is revealed to be generating bad luck. My question is, is it possible that his semblance killed Summer Rose? This has been a huge thing, theory-wise, on the Ruby Amino and on the, the, uh, the subreddits. Um, I think it's entirely possible and very likely that Crow is in some way directly or indirectly responsible for Summer Rose's death. Um, just the oh. way that he said family to Ruby, like he was saying that it, it's it's not great for him to be around family because he's bad luck. Oh. You know, but I don't know yeah. for sure if I th- if that's what I think, but I think it's definitely a possibility. It's hinted at that him and his sister are orphans, right? Yeah, they were raised by yeah. some tribe, yeah. He, that, he could have been the, the reason for his own parents' death, too. He could have been, yeah. If we're going that far. Uh, also, he mentioned that um, uh, his bad luck was how he got his name. So I'm guessing the tribe named him Crow because of his bad luck. So there's not actually... <laughs> His birth name, I suppose, and Raven's her name is probably not her birth name either. So, um, yeah, Corey, what do you reckon? Uh, yeah, I mean, I I, I agree. It's plausible. Uh, there's just there's so much mystery surrounding Summer's death still. Yeah. That it's just at this point there's just like no information to go off of. Like literally, all we know is she died. Yeah. Or do we even know that she's dead? We don't know anything. Um, yeah. William Oliver on Twitter asks, uh, do you think Cinder has Amber talking in her head the same way Ospin talks to Oscar? Mm. Oh. I oh, don't, that's good. Mm, I don't know, just because I think that the maidens are an entirely separate thing from what's going on with Ospin and Oscar. Mm. Yeah. Because that, that's one thing I have in my notes is that he talks about how um, the maiden's souls become fused in a way. Mm. But I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's necessarily that they think they talk like with Oscar yeah. and Ozpin. I feel like it's a different kind of line of succession almost. I, f- I feel yeah, like but it's, a, it's a different thing. Ruby has has Pira talking in her head now, too, though. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the... Uh, whether it's just, like, dreams, or whether Pira's, like, actually trying to communicate with Ruby from wherever the fuck she is now. Beyond. Beyond. The <laughs> well, yeah, there is also... Know. I thought it was heavily implied in the second episode that Ruby was dreaming of Pira's voice because of um, the, the video Jean was watching at night. Yeah, but mm. she was, that was she why. was dreaming about conversations that she never heard. That was the thing. She wasn't present for what was being said. She plus this show has been too smart to have it build up to just be that video. Obviously, yeah. something is going on there. Yeah. Um. No, because when she was dreaming, um, she was hearing, uh, Pira ask Cinder, "Do you believe in destiny?" And uh, she wasn't present for that conversation. She jumped up on the roof just after that happened. So there's no way she could have heard that. So she can't know. And that's what is still making me scratch my head over that entire thing. Is the but fact also, that she... But Pure... also, Pure wasn't a maiden, though. No, she wasn't. But um, I think I think what's going on between Ruby and Pure is not related to the maidens. I think there's something else entirely going on there that could have something to do with Ruby's silver eye ability. Like, we still know nothing about that. But, that um, last season basically raised more questions than it answered. Yeah, constantly. So is are, this one. <laughs> we have so many questions and so little answers. It's, it's driving me nuts. But, um, yeah, there's definitely something more going on there. I think that 
this show has a history of of setting things up very early to pay off very late. Um, kind of like Steven Universe, if anyone yeah. watches that. Yeah. yeah, I've heard of that, yeah. Um, Larissa, Nerds of Oz, on Twitter asks, Do you think Tyrion's venom is deadly? Perhaps he carries the antidote on him. It makes sense, though I hope not true. Um, I don't want to say this because I don't want to make it real, but I think Crow is going to die before the end of this volume. Oh, no, don't say that. I really, I really I love do. Crow. I know, everybody like... loves Crow. And it's like, some people were speculating that he actually died at the end of Chapter 8, but I was like, no, I don't think so. Crow is such a, a well-loved and very important character to the story. I don't think they would kill him just like that at the end of a chapter. Um, <clears throat> if he's going to go, he's going to go, you know, with gusto. Um but we, like, just met him, like, last season. I know. We're just getting to know him. I know, but I have a feeling that he's not making it out of the volume. I just have a feeling. I really, really hope that I'm wrong. Corey's shaking his head. I would, <laughs> he's going to survive. Everything people. will be happy. <laughs> I just don't want him to die. I don't want him to die no, either, but no. I seriously think that's what's going to happen. No one he's wants like him to die. five characters. But I, I uh, really... I've been reading, I've been spending a lot of time on Ruby Amino lately, and I've been reading people's theories, and the more I read, the more I get convinced about certain things, and Crow's death is one of those. Um, I don't think he died at the end of Chapter 8, but I do think he's not living out the volume, unfortunately. He definitely didn't die at the end of Chapter 8. No, what I am hearing some people say, there's a lot of people, and this surprises me, there's a lot of people that think that Sun is going to die at the end of this volume. We are two oh, people. We've been saying that, that since the beginning. <laughs> we we've we've been literally that since said episode in three. like chapter two, three it was, chapter three, we were like, son's going to die. <laughs> oh, don't take away my son child. Don't do <laughs> I it. I know. I, I, to die I have always had a bad feeling about son, but now I have a bad feeling about Crow and Blake's mother as well. Do not the mom! I know! Blake's mother, Carly, is such a precious gem that must be protected at all costs, but I have a terrible feeling. Either her mother or her father is gonna die. One of them. Like, in two Probably, chapters. Probably, I have a bigger feeling about the dad than the mom. Yeah, I think a, a lot of people are saying because of that tender moment they had in this chapter that he's gonna die now. Which I'm like, yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, Tyrion's venom, um, yeah, it's tricky because he was going to stab Ruby with that and he needs her alive, not dead, so uh, there's a question Yeah, of, that's true. Can he control the potency of his venom to administer a deadly dose or not? I assume that scorpions can actually do that. I wouldn't know. Um, I have done a little research on the type of scorpion that he could be based on, but, um, it's all very vague. Um, yeah, so I definitely think that Crow is on the chopping block, and I don't think he's lasting the volume. Which makes me well, really as, sad! <laughs> as I brought up in episode 7? Is that when she chopped off the tail? Yeah, 7. Yeah. <laughs> um, that apparent, that if, if they took the stinger with them, it gives them a better chance of being able to produce an antidote, because they well, have the source. Funny you should say that, because the very next question from Ali the Hamster <laughs> on Twitter is maybe the antidote was the piece Ruby sliced off. They could boil it or something. <laughs> what if Ruby gives herself up to Tyrion in exchange for the antidote? Oh. There's an interesting thought. That is interesting. I think... Could she find Tyrion, though, is the question. Uh, I... Yeah, I think... It's an interesting thought, but at the same time, probably not really possible because Tyrion would have taken off back to Salem. Um, yeah. I'm I, actually wondering if his tail grows back. I don't think so. Scorpions don't grow their tails back, do they? Yeah, Crow, but it could be uh, his, um, his aura could help him grow his tail back, possibly. Nah, that, I don't know. Hasn't just grow. Her arm Yang back. hasn't grown her arm back, so <laughs> I don't think that's possible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the thing I've been suspecting about Salem is that that whole treatment she's doing with uh, Cinder is somehow going to give Cinder her eye back. 
And so if Salem does have this power, maybe she could do that for Tyrion too? It's all very vague. I mean, why would Cinder do that for Tyrion? (laughs) Um, And funny you should say that, because the next question from Kevin A on Twitter is how big will Cinder's smile be when she learns Ruby essentially castrated Tyrion? (laughs) (laughs) Well, I don't know about castrated, but, um, uh, yeah... She, I, I feel like Cinder's going to have some very private pleasure at, at that fact. Because um, she doesn't seem to like any of the other three dudes on the, the Salem Council much. Um, I mean, they're all assholes, really. Uh, yeah, so that's it for the questions. Thank you guys for submitting those. Um, a lot to think about in this chapter. If you want to submit questions for future bootcasts, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at shenoob087 at cory11333. Links in the description for mobile users. And follow Serenity on Twitter too. You have a Twitter, don't you, Serenity? I do. And yeah. a Tumblr. At Dream of Serenity? Um, is it? I don't I know. Believe... I actually follow you on Twitter, no. but I don't know what your at tag is. Amanda SD626 right. because I didn't yeah. know what I was doing when I signed up for Twitter and I accidentally put in my name instead of what I wanted my my at to be. Yeah, that's right. Um, so yeah, all those links will be in the description. Be sure to follow everybody so you can ask questions. Um, also, you can leave questions in the comments on this video either. We, we don't care if you don't have Twitter. Um, yeah, so chapter 8. Uh, the exposition, as, as we've been yeah. calling it. A uh, lot to unpack in ways of law and um, history and religion and blah, blah, blah. Um, so, Crow explained uh, the story of the Maidens, obviously, to Team Ranger, as he would have to do. And, as we predicted, John was pretty pissed off about the whole thing. Um, mm-hmm. You know, but uh, Crow makes the point that, you know, Pyrrha made her choice, um, and unfortunately, it didn't end well for her, um, but she did make that choice of her own accord. Um, sorry, my dog, is, it, what do you want? I know it's hot, darling, but you've <laughs> got to go sit down. <laughs> She's it's hot? <laughs> yeah, it is so hot. <laughs> um, go sit down, Kira. She's drooling everywhere. That's charming. It's cold here. It's freaking 39 degrees and we are dying. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the, the campfire up. stuff. So, um, yeah. Uh, I don't actually really remember that conversation by the camp. I know that there was gods involved and like, I've only seen the chapter twice and <laughs> I've been busy. Um, Corey, have you got notes there or something? Yeah, I do have notes. <laughs> oh good, Corey's you know got I notes. Do. He's organized. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. The, well, one thing I thought was interesting before he got into his story about um, the god brothers, whatever, mm. was that he said that Ruby Silver Eyes pissed off powerful people, like her being able to use them. And I was beginning to wonder, is Raven one of those people? I don't know. Hmm. Is Raven no, even wait. aware of the whole thing? I don't see how she yeah, I, would be aware. But then again, she, she's well, aware of, like, all the Salem crap, so... Mm-hmm. And the relics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's a lot but, more in the know than we originally thought that she was. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, no, the story of the brothers was just, like, there were two brothers. Uh, one was light, one was dark. Uh, the dark one made the grim, and then they came together and made people. <laughs> Yeah, it's but, um, basically the, the, the backstory of Sadeki, but without splitting the worlds in two. <laughs> um, that, it, that's what it reminded me of, you know, the god of light and the god of darkness, and they don't agree on anything. Um, yeah, so... But I saw, I saw people making some interesting comparisons, um, calling them the Brothers Grimm, which, you know, <laughs> it, it, kind so of stupid. a funny thing, because the whole world is based on fairy tales, and the that's Brothers so- Grimm made all the fairy tales that's a good point actually Graham oh oh Graham (laughs) Serenity and I both were just like (laughs) you (laughs) blew our minds just then (laughs) um 
Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Everybody's based on, loosely based on fairy tales and legends and um, my- various myths. And so the Brothers Grimm, yeah, that actually makes sense, weirdly, in a way. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, do you know what recently blew my mind? A friend brought this to me. You know, the. I didn't make. I didn't connect the dots when this happened, but, uh, you know, the, the butler in Weiss's. Uh, oh, uh, mansion? Klein. Yeah, it's the seven dwarves. Yeah, he is. He's he and is one person, singularly and she told me that, and I was just like, oh, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not that bright. Because we saw happy, slow. grumpy, and sneezy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember what the other ones. Dopey, Doc. I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. Some dwarves. Um. Yeah, the brothers grin. That's so funny. <laughs> but it's 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 even more funny that it actually makes sense. Yeah, it does. Oh my god. Um, how did I not make that comparison already myself? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my gosh. So, I was kind of a little, like, not annoyed, but, like, disappointed that they went with the whole stereotypical, oh, there's two gods, and one's light, and one's darkness, and they just don't, like, you know, mm-hmm. been done to death, really. Um, the show is yeah. enjoyable enough. I think I can give them a pass on it. Yeah. Indy has joined us. Hello, Indy. Uh, for those of you who didn't see Bootcast number two, yeah, two, mm-hmm. um, Indy Revolution is the um, sort of co creator, co director, sort of, of Ruby the Abridge series. Serenity has had a creepy mask on for the <laughs> <laughs> so yes, uh, welcome back, Indy. Nice yeah. to have you on again. Um, so, what were we talking about? Yes, hello. Something to do uh, with we gods were... or something. Yeah, we were talking about the gods. Yeah, so um, kind of been done to death the whole darkness god versus light god sort of thing. But you know, pretty basic mold to fit the sort of religion part of the show into. Um, yes. So. Full lost uh, mode. We'll just we'll we'll come back to all of that, but for now, um, Indy Ruby the Abridged series posted an announcement video the other day that we are finally oh, yeah, we did. making more episodes this year. Finally, like yes, I haven't even finally, been in one back. yet. Oh, <laughs> I think the last yes, time yeah, I recorded was like a year ago. It was like that was the last time I recorded. <laughs> yeah. So, um, do you want to tell us a little yeah. bit about what's to come this year for Ruby the Abridged series? Um, basically, let me think, let me think. Okay, so, first off, Sona has an, er, Stormy, I should call him Stormy Copa, has a new Mac computer. Yes. So he has a new editing system, he's going to be trying a new editing system, so he's going to get that back back up and going, because his mm-hmm. other one crapped out, so he knows yeah. how to edit now. And, uh, um, we also did a, po- we left off on a Pony episode, mm-hmm. which was, uh, uh, I uh a little divisive. <laughs> Yeah, but um, just just know that okay, a that was not done with the full on consent of every single person of all involved in the series, uh, so it wasn't like we all wanted to do a pony episode. That was just some, that was Stormy's idea. I'm a brony. I'm, I'm going to a pony con this weekend, so I loved it. The only thing I didn't like was the the singing bit. Indy knows that though. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Um. We will fix that, though. And Are you talking about hop, there, skip, and a jump? Be... Sorry? No, I like that. Uh, no, the theme song. Uh, oh, there was the one theme song, line, of course, yeah. There was one line that I just couldn't... Like, I couldn't say it right, so it had to be changed. And, like, I'm sitting at my computer with the mic <laughs> at, like, 3 in the morning. I'm, like, house-sitting. I'm trying to keep it down. And I've just been at it for, like hours trying to get this line right and I couldn't and I just I wanted to cry and I wanted to die and I wanted to get it over with <laughs> oh, yeah oh that was We're a so rough episode sorry. all around I'm... it was fine it was very it was really rough <laughs> but yeah no we have a surprise in, involved for anybody who didn't like that episode uh, won't, won't be saying it right Right now, it's going to come off as a surprise, but you know, just be ready. You guys, you guys won't be disappointed. Yeah. And we know that the other some of the episodes, other episodes weren't like up to par or whatever. So we're we're taking more time. We've got a good like actual writers circle going right now. So we know we have a system set up. So we're actually going to get crank out new scripts. 
Okay. Yeah. We scrapped one of our old ones. So yeah, no, just expect more episodes within 2017. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so uh, cool. I will leave a link to the announcement video and the Ruby the Bridge series channel in the description. So make sure you go over and subscribe because there will be more stuff coming this year. Um, and yeah. And hopefully I might actually be able to get in it soon. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Um, yeah, I was actually almost okay, in the worry. pony I, episode. I'm on your side here. <laughs> I was almost in the My Little Pony episode, but like I, I remember I was sitting uh, with Tessa while she was recording her um, her uh, her lines for one of the ponies, and um, she couldn't do one of the lines, so I was like, just do it like this. And Jay, she was like, do that again. I was like, no, <laughs> I am I am not being in this episode. I refuse. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, but you know. <laughs> That was um, kind of funny, but yeah, so back to the chapter, um, after getting all of that out of the way, uh, what were we talking about? Yeah, so there was a bunch of exposition. Um, what else did Crow talk about besides the, the god plot? The relics. The snacks. relics. Mm -hmm. yes. So the relics. He's uh, talked about so much this season. I know. He's like the <laughs> exposition fairy now. He is. <laughs> now yeah. that Ospin doesn't exist. The whole exist. episode was exposition fairy as a whole. It's just literally just talking and talking. And I was like, wow, 20 like, minutes of talking. I like talking a lot. Yeah. 20 minutes of it. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the the relics. Um, does anyone remember what they are? Cause I, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. No. Knowledge, creation, destruction, and choice. There you go. Um, so oh, yeah. they they have. I'm assuming that they have like physical forms. They're not just sort of superstitious kind of. Um, they they um, you know they have. It's something that you can hold. Um, so there's been a lot of speculation as to whether Ospin's cane is one of the relics. Um, I'm gonna take a stab and say probably knowledge. Um, I don't think it would be creation, destruction, or choice. I think I think his would be knowledge. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I still think that's the case. I still think Ospin's cane is is the relic, the veil relic, um, the knowledge relic, and uh, Crow does have that, as far as we're aware. So, um, yeah. So all is not yeah, lost. Yeah, he does. Mm. All is not lost just yet. If in fact that is the relic. Um, right. Yeah, was there anything else in that beginning part that he talked about? Um, really well, the one thing I did think was... Oh. One thing I thought was interesting was that um, he talked about Ozpin's predecessor was the one who made all the schools, but in yes. last episode, Oscar had the memory of building the schools. So that means Ozpin's predecessor also was in this line of descendants. Yeah. Or whatever it's it is. Sort of line of succession, yeah. Um... Yeah, that is interesting. You know, we still understand so little about all of that. It's really too hard to make any kind of, like, informed prediction or informed sort of opinion because we know nothing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just we're just going to have to keep watching and wait and see. Um, yep. And then there was a Blake scene after that. I did not expect to see Blake this week. Yeah, um, I was hoping for Yang. I was hoping for Yang as well. Uh, the, I'm suffering from Yang withdrawal now. I need to know how she's getting on. She better be in Chapter 9! <laughs> That's all I'm I don't I'm know, gonna there's say. only so many ways you can show... Uh, there's only yeah. so many ways you, you can show training. Plus, yeah, exactly. I don't think we, there wasn't... I don't think there's much to show other than her getting along with her dad. Yeah, basically. I do miss the dynamic, though. That was, a, like... Like the her and her tie have the have like probably the funniest dynamic I've seen so far. So, yeah. you know, I'm I'm hoping we see more of that. Yeah, it is. It's always a nice change from everything else that's going on when you get, you know, yeah. scenes like that. And then you lost some brain. I mean, <laughs> um, yeah. So in this scene, we see, uh, you know, and hear Blake, um, kind of talk about things that have probably been on her mind for quite a long time um she uh when she left her home to to um go with the white fang to veil she um had a disagreement with her parents and it's um she kind of it's like you know how can you still love me after i you know said that to you and then went off and did all those awful things but it's like um like her father says well, you know, well, well, 
we yeah. learn that it's it's not just her. We learn that her parents were part of the white banks. So it's not her fault per se for joining. Like a lot of people were saying, you can't yeah. really blame her for doing what her parents wanted. Yeah, and then she like she if, says, if you're you know, born into something. Yeah, she says. Oh, sorry, I, sh I should have left. Um, I should have left the White Fang when you guys did. But um, you know, obviously she was young and and foolish and probably thought that she you know knew what she was doing when she really didn't. Um. Yeah, teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> she's a, she's we probably 18 there. now, though, I think. <laughs> Sorry? She's 18 now, I think. So, yeah, they're, so, yeah, they're all well, I'm still there. <laughs> Except for Ruby. Um, yeah, yeah, so... And it's like, you know, as her father says, we'll, we'll love you no matter what. Like, And um, then son has to ruin the moment, of course. In his typical fashion, um, <laughs> son. I'm loving Son this volume. <laughs> it's just making me laugh always. Um, some people have brought up issues with like the the bit where Blake is repeatedly slapping Son in the face for being a, a, a peeping tom, not a peeping tom, uh, um, an eavesdropper, um, and people are like, oh, it's so abusive, like, she keeps slapping him in the face. I'm like, yeah, but he does keep being a tool, so... <laughs> yeah, um, I guess. She, you know, know Blake's... Know. Yeah, Blake's a warrior. Her natural she's, reaction is... She's one violence. of the more... <laughs> she is one of the more divisive members of the... of the of, Probably her and, her and Neptune are up there as the more divisive members of the show. Yeah. Well, I understand why. I don't I don't have feel strongly towards her in any other capacity, but some people don't like the the running away and the the judge mentality I, I don't mind i think it fits with the character but you know i understand where people are coming from yeah i do yeah. understand i do understand where people are coming from for, for there but i think at the same time like sun can take it he's a big boy and yeah. uh he's he, a big boy he was eavesdropping so he kind of deserves he's not gonna it. cry <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know uh exactly and um yeah so and then he like he says you know i've got to tell you something uh uh, and apparently Carly told him that the White Fang don't wear masks in Menagerie, but he saw someone in the market with a mask on. Um, and then they discover a, a, a masked White Fang spy in the bushes. I was reading a theory about that on Ruby Amino, and um, some people are wondering if the masked White Fang member that Sun saw in the market is not in fact the same person as the spy, but whether it's Adam that he saw in the market. Some people are suspecting he actually saw Adam and he said he got a photo, so they're wondering if Blake's gonna oh, know, yeah, pick up yeah, his scroll that, and see the photo that'd of Adam. That actually be really be, yeah, that'd and be that's really gonna kick yeah. everything into gear for her. Um, I, uh, it, not seeing the spy would have kicked everything into gear for her? <laughs> yeah, and also an, another thing people have been saying is that she's she and Son have now taken off to go chase this spy. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> which is a perfect window for Adam to come into the house and slaughter her parents. <laughs> I'm like, mm. oh! <laughs> please no! Yeah, she, but I seriously do think that um, this is not going to end well for one of her parents, at least. Um, I, I really yeah, hope not I, both. <laughs> if somebody involved is going to die, it's either going to be Stun or her parents. I. It could be. Yeah. I'm thinking her dad because he's the leader basically yeah. the chief of the faunus of this island. If Adam's gonna kill anyone, it makes more sense to kill him and take his position. Yeah, I mean, Good though, voice. like, Adam, we totally cannot predict what he's gonna do. He's a complete psycho. And he has vowed that he's gonna destroy everything Blake loves, so it's entirely plausible that he could kill both of her parents. Um, I really hope that doesn't happen because I feel like a lot more people will be angry if Carly dies than if Gira dies. Yeah. Because Carly is so precious and just everybody loves her. Yes. <laughs> oh, there's some people who love her for less than uh, less than stellar reasons. Mm. <laughs> She's got a sizable male fandom. <laughs> yeah, I'll she just does. say that, that that. She's lovely though. I love Car I love Carly so much. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. In, not really much there in the way of Blake's story, but I feel like the next time we see her is when everything's going to kick off. Um, and it's going to have to be, because there isn't that much time left in regards to chapters. There's five chapters left, and that's it. 
Yeah, I know. Well, that's that's one of my main gripe with the ball game is that nothing's really happened so far, and I'm like, holy, how are you gonna kick the? Are you gonna do pull another ball? When's the ball gonna drop? Half? Four chances. Yeah, are you gonna pull I another. I can't count. Kill? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's four left. <laughs> um. Sorry, did they explicitly <gasps> say there's only twelve? Is there? There were thirteen left. Um, I we. It's kind of. There were like, only twelve last time. There were twelve oh, chapters really? okay, last one. year and the year before. Um. But we, Corey and I are both just like, how how are they gonna s uh, satisfyingly wrap up all of these plots yeah, in I four do not, more chapters? I want it to be a repeat of volume. I don't want. I didn't it to be realize how too. little time we had. Don't you just miss it when they were just having food fights in the cafeteria? I know. Oh, I mean, <laughs> and there was like, you didn't care if they were gonna wrap it up because there was nothing to wrap up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, now <laughs> now there's all these there's all these then. stakes the in there, and then was shit, so we could enjoy shit. <laughs> yeah, well, basically, the, the the show was just about being funny and and you know throwing a little and bit cute of cute and getting to know these characters, and which then was terrible. Great we fell into a trap, and they throw the script out the window. No, I'm the just, very I'm first song lyrics, actually, any of the lyrics to any of the songs were all building up to everything going to shit eventually, and we should have seen it coming. Well, we well, didn't see it coming. <laughs> we just yeah. didn't know it was coming People so soon. Pointing that out, I... one dude was like. <laughs> Oh, Ruby's too dark. He's like, what are you talking about? There, all three song lyrics have basically been, "What the hell are you doing? Get up and fight! Something bad is about to happen." Yeah. And that's been going for three volumes. Why did yeah. you, the, the songs basically... are basically like, "Yeah, you're comfortable now, but you're not going to be for long. <laughs> Enjoy yeah. while you can, hun." I think the, the the fandom collectively chose to ignore all of those facts right up until chapter nine of volume <laughs> three. <laughs> We were just like living in blissful ignorance until like Penny gets pulled into pieces and it all goes to shit and we're like, okay, so this is actually a thing. <laughs> Do you know um, who I miss already? And this is kind of odd. Um, Tuxin. I, I, I miss <laughs> Roman. I'm actually upset that Roman got eaten. I was yeah, no, so I, bummed I, that, that, was, that was died. That's actually my worst moment. That's like the, my least favorite moment of the series. I wish I'd done that. I better. wonder why. Well, because it's like, oh yeah, no, he gets his ass kicked, and then yeah, or, or no, he, he kicks he, her like, ass. He had this like big comeback, like they took him out of jail, sort of. It was kind of jail, I guess. It was jail. It was a capsule, and <laughs> yeah, we just put him in a lot on a <laughs> And then like he had this big comeback, and, and then he just got eaten like immediately. I know. I was, so yeah, it was... I was so peeved, but at the same time, like we got a lot more Roman than we were ever gonna get. Like he was supposed to yeah, be I feel in the like first he was, episode, he was literally supposed to. and that was it. But then, like everyone loved him so much that he lasted three volumes. So I'm just gonna. So you know, he's that asshole you love so much. I love you Roman. Love yeah, he I was my you. favorite villain, and I was pissed off when they killed him. <laughs> I was so mad. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> you can go back and watch my reaction. I was like, really cool. I, I sat there for like three seconds process processing. <laughs> I was Me like, too, like I couldn't process it at first. <laughs> that was yeah, the one moment I was like, what the, that's literally the only time in the series I've gotten up from my seat. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, that, it was really surreal. Nobody it's really surreal. expected that. That was the first thing that happened that was really Well, that, 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 and that new bitch. Like, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. I yeah, I didn't expect weird. that. That took a minute to process too. I was like, wait, did he just did he just curse? Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually really liked the fact that he called her a bitch. No, I, I do. I like it. I thought it was, it. It it was a, yeah really appropriate to the to the really I don't. I mean, it's yeah. bitch. It's not that bad of a swear word. Kids hear that word all the time. You know, it's not like he went yeah. fuck you. You, it's only matter you know, <laughs> 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 that would have been a little like. Ugh. But, you know, you bitch I really when he gets his tail cut off is very appropriate, I think. Yeah. yeah I hope that we get a Ruby Chibi where it's just them cussing the whole way through. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The entire episode is one long I can just imagine. <laughs> yeah, um, oh god, what oh, were we talking yourself. about this before we got orders. on that tent? Oh yeah, Roman, I think, it, like, in my, yeah, it took me ages to process it. I was watching the episode and I was like, Wait, did he just die? <laughs> like, yeah, like Penny, I saw coming. Yeah. Uh, Pira, I saw I coming. Saw that coming. that yeah. that yeah. came out of nowhere. Nowhere. Well, Pira, basically. <laughs> 
I mean, and he got I just like an hour. it should have been obvious because he was he was monologuing. He got caught monologuing, as they say. But like, yeah. you know, yes. nobody expected it. I wish that, it had been done yeah. for sheep. You have got right? me monologuing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically. Dog. Yeah. Um. So how did we get onto that? Anyway. Um. <laughs> chapter eight. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, that was so, me. I derailed this. Ah, fuck. It's a podcast. We're supposed to talk about the show. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, Chapter 8's tricky because there is a lot to unpack, but, you know, it's, it's all theories and speculation and, like, um, uh, Crow... Oh, Crow's Semblance. We should talk about Crow's Semblance. Um, oh, yeah. One so, he reveals... He reveals that his semblance is more of like a, a sort of an aura of bad luck. So like where he goes, misfortune follows. Um, and he says it works in his favor when he's fighting his enemies, but it works against him when he's around friends and family. Um, See, yes. The weird thing about that is that I, I is like if if that's been a thing for a while and people know about it, shouldn't magic be have proven in this universe? Like when people say, "Hey, how does that work from a scientific standpoint?" And I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that, that's that's weirding me out. Like, how do you have something that violates the laws of semblances, and then like works on a magical level? How, uh, maybe maybe there's a scientific level. I don't know. I yeah, you. exactly. Semblances are weird. <laughs> semblances are weird. I don't think that they can be entirely explained scientifically. Um, and we already know that there are that magic does exist in the universe through the maidens and the wizard and probably other things that we don't even know about. Um, the Grimm's very existence could be based on magic. I mean, it, it was gods that the god of darkness supposedly created the Grimm, but um, if he's not around anymore, who's continuing to create the Grimm? Uh, like, you know, and what's involved and all that kind of thing. And we know so little about all of it, it's really hard to, to speculate over any of it. Um, uh, my friend had a theory about Salem, about her being a Grim herself. Mm. Yeah. Like, there, she has the color been, scheme and everything. There's been a lot of theories about that um, since we, we don't first know met enough her at about the end of Volume 3. Yeah. Um, so know. if she were like an older Grim, maybe she could make Grim on her own. Yeah, I definitely That's think Salem one. is responsible for the Grim, you know, existing currently. Um, uh, my first thought when I saw her was how much she looked like a Grim, but I, th I think there's more to it than that. I think that, th and it's going to be a while before we find out exactly what the heck is going on there. Um, so I, I'm just, um, I'm just gonna wait and see. I'm not even gonna like try and make sense out of this in my head because it doesn't make sense. Um, yeah. So Crow's semblance. Um, what? 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 Serenity? What happened? Okay. So I just thought of something. Um, Oscar, he's been bothering me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everybody's been comparing him to Dorothy. Hmm. What if he's more like? Do you did you guys read The Wizard of Oz? Any of them? Like the I mean, original. I've seen movie. the film and the stage show, but I've not read. Nobody's it. seen. They've read the books. I have. Um, I know. <laughs> Oz, Ozma is a character from The Wizard of Oz. I think the second volume. Ozma was a boy who grew up in the woods, and. Turns out that this boy used to be a girl. He had, she had a spell cast on her to disguise her as this little boy. And when Dorothy and the others discover her, she turns out to be a girl. She takes over for the wizard at Oz and becomes their queen. Hmm. So, what if Oscar? is one of the fall maiden and not the fall maiden one of the maidens in disguise well, and also voice, going to be taking over for Austin. Uh, maybe has, with magic yeah. possibly there has always the been voice... the, the theory that that oscar could be like the spring maiden but um yeah he could very well one. be loosely based on that character um they're all loosely based on someone so oscar ozma yeah, yeah. No, i get it. <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, no, uh, like... Maybe. As I said, everything's speculation. I need to write this down. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna write this down when we're done here. Call it now. <laughs> I'm calling it now. <laughs> going on Tumblr after we're done here. You heard it here first, folks. Yep. Um, in four years' time, <laughs> when we find out what the fuck is going on... <laughs> Because that's how long it's going to bloody be before we know what the it. hell is I going on. It. it only um, took four volumes to establish the stakes of the universe, you know, <laughs> uh, not too long. It's only four years. It's only four <laughs> years that we've all invested in this show. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah so, four uh, years and one hell of a... Sorry. Geez, one hell of a what? No, finish your sentence. I was going to say one hell of a train ride with the fandom, but yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not going to go into fandom <laughs> issues here. You, you, uh, <laughs> um, so, Crow's semblance, we <laughs> um, so we, we witnessed his semblance in action uh, before we even knew what it was uh, in the Crow versus Tyrion fight. Um, so, in, in hindsight, him explaining his semblance makes that fight make a lot more sense. Um, so, like, you know, Tyrion, he falls through that roof and, like, Crow makes a point of, like, deliberately getting him to do that. And he keeps shouting at Team Ranger, like, don't come any closer. And, um, you know, when Ruby says, like, this is my fight too, and he's like, oh, it's not that, like, it, you know, he's trying to keep them away because he knows his bad luck is going to get them killed. Oh, basically. I just realized I just got that now. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, um, stupid. like, when that beam al almost falls on Ruby, that was Crow's bad luck. And, like, yeah. he's, he's telling them, you know, stay out of the way because you're just going to be collateral damage next minute because... And uh, it, it makes sense now that we know that that is his. I don't know. I just I, I would have liked to see the alternate ending of Ruby, where like a, fa a piece of wood hits Ruby on the head and she dies, and that's the end of the show. <laughs> that's it. It just ends there. Halfway <laughs> <laughs> through the fourth volume, we're done. <laughs> yeah. Less screen time to share. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, more screen time to share. Whatever. Um. Yeah. yeah. So. Um. And then, you know, um, and that also explains why he, like, he was shadowing Ranger from a distance this whole time instead of, you know, actually going in and actively assisting them. Um, so, you know, because he didn't want his bad luck to get in their way. Um, so, yeah, it, they've been sowing these seeds uh, without us realizing again. Uh, they seem to do that a lot. But... What was I going to talk about? I don't even know. Oh, um, you know, when uh, uh, they ask him if there's anything else he wants to tell them and, and that crow shows up and he's like, not tonight. Um, I have a feeling there's some kind of Raven-associated thing going on with that. Um, I still think Raven is going to bump into Ranger at some stage. Um, well... The, the original remember that Monty's original plan was for Raven to just randomly attack and try to murder Team uh, Juniper uh, while they were at a cafe at in volume, volume three. Yeah, according yeah, to uh, so according I think to they Shane might... Yeah. Um, well, uh, yeah, according to Shane. Uh, according to Shane, uh, we won't talk about that letter um, because we don't want. Sorry, to talk sorry, about sorry, that, sorry. But, no, no, no. But you you bring up a, a good point. Um, I I also do want to say something about that. Um, Raven attacking Team Juniper thing. I think that um, while being the original plan, it, it probably wouldn't have made a whole lot of sense and would have got dumped anyway. Yeah. No, I Because it would uh, just exactly, be exactly. so random for her to do that. And yeah. Set no, her it's character like pacing. Totally, like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It, like, I would have seen that gone, what the f Like, what? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah exactly. There was no, like, build up to it, and she just came out of nowhere and attacked them at a cafe. At a cafe? For, like, no reason at all. I would have yeah. been like. Yeah, it was a bit weird to work in, too, because they would have been like, yeah, yeah, your mom showed up and tried to murder us, and she's like, oh, that's cool. Let's get on to the other stuff that's going on right now. I know. It would have totally been totally awkward. The flow of things, yeah. yeah. No, Mars and Carrie know yeah. what they're doing, and they, they gave that the chop for a reason. Um, I can absolutely yeah. see why yeah, they anyway, gave anyway. that the chop. But. Yeah, we have to keep faith in Miles and Carrie. They absolutely know what they're doing with this show. And it's obvious yep. from this I volume and have... last volume that they know what they're doing. Um, I have... Anyway. <laughs> I'm talking about, like, plot-wise. Like, no, <laughs> not I, I, necessarily... I know. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not being sarcastic here. I have faith. Anyways, continue. Sorry, I'll stop cutting you off. <laughs> um, yeah, what were we talking about? Crow. I don't know. Raven. Raven. Some show. Raven. And Raven. I... <laughs> 
Okay, I'll, I'll see if I can say something. I, I hope Raven turns out to be evil, honestly. Just because I feel like we need one evil mom, honestly. We uh, need one just, parent. I'm so conflicted when it comes to Raven, because I'm like, I want her to be a good person, but I don't like her at all. <laughs> yeah, no, right? Like, I just, I like, it'll be good if they have a good evil mom dynamic and they have one, like, like just to contrast with the parent dynamic, right? I think she's I, I feel a like conflicted the, character. I feel like they're backtracking and trying to make each Ruby, each Ruby's life more tragic as they go. Because we're maybe not backtrack because it was hinted at, but like they're trying to explicitly show each of them has their own level of tragedy. And you know, Blake's parents are probably gonna die by the end of this volume, so you know that that'll that'll be that. <laughs> you spent this whole podcast shaking your head. <laughs> no, I don't want anyone to die. Corey. Well, I'm not saying I. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> People are gonna die. Okay, Crow is probably gonna die. Son, but we just had a lot of people die. Can't we I, know, I know, I know. through a forest. I know, but Crow is probably gonna die. I don't think Sun is now. I think instead Blake's parents are, are on the are in the light and fire instead of Sun. I think Sun's gonna be okay. I, I, I actually I think don't Crow think. I feel like Crow might die eventually. Just maybe not this. this yeah. Season. yeah, yeah. I think he's gonna. Yeah, die I think he's volume. more of a character arc. Maybe. Let's put it this way. I don't no, want no, him no, to die no. this volume. I will be surprised if he doesn't. <laughs> I just feel I'll like we only just started to get to know him. It would yeah. be a waste if we killed him I within know, the next it, it Yeah, it'd, it'd, be, a, it'd, it'd, it'd be, be also kind of awkward. Cause... Yeah, I think it'd be awkward too because he just shows up, gets in one fight and dies. That'll be a really weird way to go about things. Plus it, it'll it be would. like too, like, gut... The man who raised her, he just suddenly dies out of nowhere. It'd be really tragic for the series. Like it would be, be really, yeah. really it, tragic. Losing Crow and losing Vic Mignogna as his voice would be a tragedy for the show. Oh, you know what? That would be the real reason they would yeah. kill Crow off because they can't pay for him any longer. <laughs> yeah, well, that's also part of why I'm thinking that this volume is Crow's last. Is because you know Vic Mignogna is a professional anime voice actor and he's probably expensive. <laughs> Um, they have a lot, though, a lot. like, The thing is, we um, prints money at this point. <laughs> yeah. They have a lot of voice actors like that, though. Like, all of Salem and all of her little goons, they're all professional anime voice Kali, actors. Kali. Yeah. Kali is Vic's wife, yeah. actually, I think. That yeah. also probably no, explains he's, why no, we he's haven't not seen much Mickey of Mercury them. Yeah, yeah, Kali. Sorry, Corey, you're right. <laughs> uh, like, sorry, I, I, just, I just remembered. Sorry. Um, Elizabeth... Oh, g not Elizabeth. Um... Oh god, who voices Winter Schnee? Help me out. Uh, I, I it, forget her name. I thought it was Elizabeth Maxwell. <laughs> yeah, Elizabeth Maxwell, thank you. Was it? Yeah. it Elizabeth is, yeah, Maxwell. It is. She is yeah. also a professional anime has, voice she's, actress. She's, and she has like, a lot of like Instagram posts with, with Kara who voices Weiss. Yeah. <laughs> which is pretty funny. Yeah. Who did Laura Bailey do? I know Laura Bailey is in the Amber. Uh, Amber. Uh, Laura Amber. Bailey was... Um, oh, That's Amber. right. That's right, she was Amber. Amber, Amber. yeah, Amber. So, <laughs> that was yeah. probably like... the the weirdest moment of volume three where you have Laura barely give one word where it's like oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why yeah why do you even bother then because she was in the studio doing a let's play with uh with with the achievement hunter she yeah her she husband. was already there oh that yeah. makes sense yeah yeah she was in the she was, travis he, was in it too yeah yeah he was he was the commander yeah he was the yeah. airship commander <laughs> You, you never go to Rooster Teeth to do just one thing. You go there for a day to do six different things. <laughs> but he's, yeah. in, he's in officially now, though, right? Is he one of the is he one of Salem's goons? I, I didn't notice. I, I don't know. Who? Sorry? He's nah, on his, so. Oh, well, he's in he's in Camp Camp officially. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Well, if yeah, you're in so... Camp Camp, why not just use it for Ru Ruby? I don't get that. Who? Travis Willingham. Maybe because uh... they'd have to pay him two, two lots of... You know. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Anyways, we won't go. We don't. We don't know. So I'll stop talking. No, about we don't that, know. Yeah. We're just speculating. I'm always perpetually speculating. Um, <laughs> what was I talking? About? Uh, yeah, Elizabeth Maxwell. Um, I feel like the reason we have not and will not see Winter Schnee this volume is because they have to pay all of these other professional voice actors, and they can't afford Elizabeth Maxwell. <laughs> um, I, yeah. In, in both monetarily I, and screen time wise. As well. Yeah, apparently they don't actually pay the voice actors a lot, especially if they work at the studio. That's why. That's why um, JJ quit because like he like made a response to Shane. He's like, I, I wasn't fired and replaced. I quit because they're paying me like ten bucks per session. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they they, don't, they didn't actually pay. They don't they don't pay a lot for voice actors. Is what I've heard. 
not within the company they wouldn't do no but yeah the professional yeah. ones would probably you know yeah no i understand I'm, I'm just, I'm just, scenario yeah, I'm yeah. within the company i mean like you're already there you may as well <laughs> like yeah, i would do it for free i'd be like fuck yeah <laughs> yeah um, if they like put out fan auditions for characters free absolutely free I, I, every single time yeah i i i uh uh, I actually auditioned for the webcomic, <laughs> and I, I failed both oh, Anyway, sorry. No, 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 not the Ruby. I'm talking about just Randy. This, this has to do with oh. something besides... But anyways, sorry, I'll, I'll, it's off topic. Uh, oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah the, the clockwork, clockwork thing. thing. I, I yeah. bombed my auditions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. We haven't sorry. done anything with that anyway, so it's not big. Oh, okay, okay. Anyways, con continue. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, so I think we've basically unpacked everything that was in there. Um... Well, Corey, Crow, have you got any Crow more notes there that we can talk about? Um, I did want to bring up one theory about that assassin, assassin or spy or whatever spy, she the, was. Yeah. Uh, the the what were their names? Fennec and Corsic. <laughs> uh, the Albain brothers. Fennec and Corsic. These big Albain. ears. I love the big ears. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they mentioned a sister Ilya. In Menagerie. Yeah. So I'm wondering if this is Sister Ilya. Yeah, people Ooh. have been speculating it, look that at the that girl. could be Sister Ilya. People have also been speculating that she might be a chameleon for us. Ooh, that would be cool. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. That would be, cool. be a good thing for a spy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I want to see so, a bird, Faunus. Yeah, we haven't yes. seen any, like, Avery Faunus... Aviary faunus. Avian. I can't see yeah. Avian. Thank you, avian faunus. What about fish yeah. faunus? I want to see fish faunus. Like, in all fish that, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know that there are many different types of faunus, but we have yet to see some of them. So. Crow mentions uh, a, um, a lizard faunus got his tail cut off. Yeah, in when? the World of Remnant. He it was in... that, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. He mentions that he saw a, a lizard fauna grow back their tail, which is, you know, um, yeah, uh, but... I didn't even know insect faunus were a thing until now. Scorpion, yeah. Arachnid, insect, whatever. Mm. Oh, oh actually, can you imagine a spider faunus? <laughs> I like uh, it, I like it, I'd be uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I've actually seen a lot of people work? compare the spy... I've seen a lot of people actually compare the spy to Widowmaker from... Uh, Overwatch. Oh, so yeah. there could be some kind of spider connection there, too. But, like, what would a spider faunus look like? Would they have eight eyes or eight limbs? <laughs> maybe they don't have the work? eyes, just, 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 just like, maybe, maybe a they really cover the eyes with a mask butt. and they have. They just have yeah. spidey, spidey powers. <laughs> they just have a huge. It took me a minute like... to realize what you said. <laughs> um, yeah. The faunus are weird. <laughs> no offense to the faunus. <laughs> I definitely want to see a bird faunus. I'm wondering if they would faunus have, if they would actually have wings. Like, could they yeah. actually fly, or would they be too heavy for them? I, I, um, I designed my own avian faunus, and I just put feathers like along his arm right here, like kind of semi wings. I'm not sure how that would go. Yeah. No. It would. It would be nice to explore the faunus a bit more. That sounded creepy, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> definitely, um, chameleon fauna sounds, uh, like an interesting idea. Like, how, mm. I want to know how far does it stretch, how many different types of faunas are there? And, um, yeah, no. yeah. We, we saw a few, pe a few faunas at the market, at the docks that had, you know, scales and that Bacteria kind of faunus. <laughs> the what? <laughs> Bacteria, well, bacteria <laughs> oh, You have to understand that it'd be like having a kidney faunus because every human has bacteria. Oh god, this is giving me a mind right now. <laughs> oh, that's their, their that ability is, so is that the title they can of turn this food bad. I'm making that the title right, of right. this podcast, Bacteria Faunus. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Oh Keep the funny that menagerie. <laughs> Uh, me for president, build the wall. Anyways, um... Build the wall! Oh my gosh. Okay. It took me a second to figure out what he said right there. It caught up to me. Okay, sorry. Oh, sorry. And anyways, uh, uh, anything else? Anyway, Cory notes! <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything else. <laughs> no, I think we've pretty much covered all of it. Um, yeah. So, 
um, Serenity, do you have a YouTube channel? I do. You do? Um, I, I I'll do. grab that off you and post a link to that in the description as well. And Indie's stuff will be down there too. Um, yeah, so uh, closing thoughts on where we're going for Chapter 9. Does anybody have any theories? Who do you think we're going to see next time? Um, before we do, I just want to point out that I, I don't know for sure, but I think this weekend's going to be a World of Remnant. Um, and then Chapter 9 will be out next weekend. Uh, I think. Mm. I don't know. But um, that I just have a suspicion that there's going to be another World of Remnant uh, this weekend. So... I think that it'll end with like each 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 member goes through some level of tragedy, and then they each get another call to action, and then it ends with them either probably heading to meet up, and then that's where yeah. Volume Five will pick up with them meeting up. Yeah, but I don't I know how the. Mm, I think that I don't know what. It's aiming for all of them to be headed towards uh, Haven at this stage. Well. I can see it happening with all three of them, except for, like, maybe Yang. She didn't really have much. She's, she's still getting sidelined after four volumes. She still has she still has no significant role. And yeah. Ruby, I don't know how they're going to... The Rangers never had a significant arc so far. They've just been kind of walking around in some weird country doing nothing, essentially. So there's yeah. going to be... Maybe they're all going to be headed to the same place, and Rangers are going to stick together for a little while. I think they're I all going to converge on Haven eventually, because, like, yeah. Ranger's already headed there. Um, Yang and Tai may want to go after Ruby. Um, Weiss uh, may want to head there simply simply because she wants to leave Atlas. She can't go back to Vale, and why would she go to Vacuo? Like, um, and the, she she has people that she knows in Vale, like Team Sun. Uh, not Vale, sorry, Haven, like Team Sun. And uh, Blake... Um, may head there because if we recall in volume three chapter seven um adam mentions heading back to mistral um so obviously the white fang had some kind of business in mistral before when blake was involved uh with them so i could see reason for her going there as well so i feel like they're all going to kind of converge on haven maybe not by the end of this volume but it, it's gonna i think that's what they're going to set up by the end of the volume um yeah no Obviously. I don't think there's going to be any reunions in this volume because nope. there's simply not nope. enough time left. Um, yeah, they, they there was a, a lot of time. Like it was, it was weird. Yeah. Uh, also, this Sorry. volume has been significantly shorter in screen time than last volume at this point um, by oh, about really? by about fifteen minutes altogether. Oh, okay, huh? Yeah. So, maybe yeah. maybe they'll pull it out and pull out like an, a, a forty minute long finale. You don't you know? Oh, one can know. hope. I'd like it to be half an hour. Um, the the um, premiere was eighteen minutes, which was decently long. Uh, the last two episodes have been about fifteen ish each. Um, so yeah, hopefully they they pull a long finale because I feel like they're gonna have to show everybody in the finale. So they're gonna need half an hour yeah. just to do that. <laughs> like. If, yeah. if they're going to show every plot line in the finale, they're going to need half an hour. I don't see any yep. other way. And, like, they can't... Not, yeah. They can't, like, show three out of five plot lines and not the other two in the finale. It's like... Yeah. yeah. There needs to be some kind of, you know... Yeah. But... Uh, as for <clears throat> next week, uh, I want to see Yang, and we're probably going to get a lot more Ranger as well. Um... Just because of Crow's, <coughs> excuse me, Crow's current situation, so um, probably Yang and Ranger, um, uh, maybe Blake. I hope not. She's got way too much screen time in this volume. She can go away for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> just for now, just so the Yang yeah, can get seriously. more. It's not like yeah, Blake I know. time I just, like, is bad time. I'm getting tired of Blake, honestly. <sighs> I'm getting a little bit tired. Well, not tired, but I'm like she's had more screen time than Weiss and Yang combined. Like she can go right. now. <laughs> um, yeah, Weiss I'm not too fussed about We did just see a bit of Weiss <clears throat> And I don't expect we'll be seeing her next week um, so. Oh, Weiss, sweet mm. snow child The situation that you are in Can't It breaks my heart Poor yeah, Weiss Does he really think that he's going to keep a huntress in her room? Honestly <laughs> I know he's Honestly <laughs> Does he really think that's a thing? Is he that dumb? Yeah he uh, didn't no. take her weapon, so like he is clearly that dumb. That's yeah. why he's a businessman, Serenity, <laughs> not an intellectual. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, yeah. I saw. Okay, people. so Whitley, that little weasel, 
the little Whitley Weasel Wheatley. <laughs> <laughs> Which is basically who he is. Um, I saw that coming from a mile away. Yeah, well, everybody Corey did, Blake did that as well. As a yeah, right. like, I, I wanted it to not be true. I honestly wanted him to surprise us and actually be genuine, but yeah, he's obviously daddy's he's favorite. He's a maybe, maybe They might still pull something out. Maybe maybe he's, like, really, really good on underneath it all. You never know. I don't know. Maybe, I don't maybe, know. Maybe that last probably. little jab he made at Weiss seemed pretty nasty. Yeah. He looks yeah, like he could true. be psychotic, that actually. That the shit out of me. Yeah, he's, he does. He's a right little mini Jacques. Yeah, I don't know. He, he spent yeah. too much time with his father and not mm. enough influence yeah. from his sisters, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. So, um, his sisters, are, are, you know, they may not be perfect, but they strive to be good people. Um, I want to know where the granddad is, if he's so awesome. Dead? I Did they say he died? He dead? He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he dead? died. He he's died. Dead. Um, he said he's dead. He died yeah. shortly oh, dead. after Jacques married. Uh, oh, maybe I wasn't paying attention. I don't know her name. We no, don't, don't worry. Next, next episode, we'll get like a big shot of his grave. You know. <laughs> Sorry, that's mean. <laughs> um, that's being mean. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, uh, Christo not Christopher, was it Christopher? No, Nicholas Santa. Schnee. Nicholas Schnee uh, Santa. passed away, and then Jacques took over the company, yeah. So, um, I'd also like to see Sch uh, Schnee, Weiss's mother at some stage. Because she mm -hmm. kind of she just... keep talking about her. It's yeah, they just keep talking about oh, her. Oh, no, she, she drinks, wasn't... yeah, she drinks. Yeah, no, yeah, she's just a drunk. Yeah, I'm thinking she's kind of aloof. I don't think Who she can really blame cares. Her for drinking, She's though. probably in a loveless marriage yeah. to this dick. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I would mm -hmm. be drinking too. But I mean, she like, probably doesn't want anything to do with anyone. At the same time, like she really should be there to, you know, be to have influence over her own children. That's if know. she even wanted children, though. Yeah, well, she married him. It's her fault. <laughs> she didn't have to marry him. Um. Maybe she did. Maybe she did. Who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe Nicholas. Um, I don't know. Who knows? But I would like to meet Mama Schnee at some stage and see and make up my mind for myself what she is like. Um, yeah. So, because obviously Weiss and Winter get their defiance from somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, how well, did we get onto that tangent? <laughs> <laughs> we were talking uh, about screen time. <laughs> yeah, we Blake, were. Blake, how need less play stream time for Blake? Uh, one thing I do want to see more of is shit talking Yang, or Tai Yang, shit talking Tai. I want to see more of uh, Bernie, or Tai, Bernie, Tai, honestly. Yeah. Uh, that'll be great. Uh, I don't know uh, what it is about people that don't like Tai. I like Yeah, no, it's like, oh, how wow, he's so like his daughter. Him? People he's don't like so him because he's his daughter. Yeah, but she like, was okay with it. <laughs> yeah, that's their thing. It's how I talk with my dad. It's like it's he's like... he's church. I'm I'm wearing my blue army shirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I love Ty. Her him, him and Yang have such a good dynamic. Um, I I feel like he's probably he's struggling a bit because he's in a bit over his head with this whole thing. Um, and he's probably really worried about Ruby as well, wanting to go after her and not being able to. I talked about this already. Yeah. On the I want to see more of his. I want to see more of his eccentric side, because like yeah. this is the guy who mails a. He, he mailed their dog to them. Yeah, like, yeah. I want to see more of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the original. The original yeah. Scott's him as aloof. In this one, he's just kind of like you get the feeling he used to be a football player or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. I want to be Jock. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. No, I I would like to see more of the dynamic between Tai Yang and Yang. Um, yeah. Bernie, like, Bernie always manages to surprise me with how actually... Yeah, I know. How I thought he was losing his stuff after I saw the laser team. I'm like, dude, yeah. this is kind of weird. And But no, he's still got it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's actually a decent actor, and he always manages he is, to surprise yeah. me. No, he's a really good movies. actor. I just, I My don't... mom liked laser team. My mom is a very hard woman to impress when it comes to, like, the stupid internet stuff that I like. <laughs> I, I but I got her to watch it in theaters, and she was laughing. We even own it now. Really? Yeah, we own Laser Team. She loves that movie, and I'm just like, I can't believe it. Mom likes Rooster Teeth. Yeah, my dad. Only, my dad did, I've only I've... seen it twice. I saw. Uh, I got a digital copy for supporting the um the the Indiegogo, and I saw it in theaters as well. So. <laughs> the only the only Rooster Teeth thing my dad likes is a simple walk to Mordor, and uh, he I fucking hates. I love hate... a simple walk. <laughs> he fucking <laughs> <of my> hates. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's funny because he fucking hates Chris and Carrie too. He's like these two fucking idiots don't know what they're doing. <laughs> but yeah, oh, poor the, yeah. Chris. I think Chris and Carrie get a lot of shit, but I quite like Carrie, and I think Chris is yeah, really, no, I, Car- Chris Carrie's is really Carrie's misunderstood. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you uh, who oh, I yeah. don't like publicly, and that's Brandon. <laughs> 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 you still not letting him go for the Doctor Who stuff or whatever? Brandon oh. is a fucking idiot. <laughs> I mean, no offense to Brandon, but like, you, oh my god. I don't understand people that are that stupid. <laughs> okay, Jesus. All right. All he, right. he just says some crap on the podcast that I'm like, what? Well, people haven't let him go for the Doctor Who podcast where he was a, he was kind of an asshole. I yeah, didn't actually yeah, watch that one because I don't watch Doctor Who, so... um. Oh, I love Doctor Who. Yeah, yeah no, that's I, that's the other thing I do is a My Little Pony slash no, Doctor know. Who Doctor thing. Who, yeah, I don't. I uh, I cannot get into Doctor Who. I just can't take it seriously. You're um, not you're supposed, not supposed, to. supposed to. to. Yeah, no, I know, exactly. but it's like I have to take everything seriously to a degree. But like I, you know, I just can't get into <laughs> it. Huh? You're just supposed to sit there and watch the funny British man poke things and lick things. Yeah, I just like <laughs> my friend Jenna made me watch the the uh, the Blink episode. I think it was. Oh, um, Blink! Yeah, do Blink. 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 And I was like, "This is what the fuck am I watching?" <laughs> like, I I just I would have introduced you to the Van Gogh okay. episode first. That's Stephen Moffat, and he's got a weird style of writing. He's got I really, like, I love Stephen Moffat's writing. I watch Sherlock, so I'm very very familiar oh, with Stephen okay. Moffat. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna say anything. I what what was Randy up? What's up? Then keep the the anger demon. Oh um, no! Corey and I have seen the latest episode, and we're like, <sighs> it's just quiet. Oh, sure, like yeah, my dad yeah, watched boy. it. I didn't watch it. My, my dad recorded and watched it. He's like, dude, you should watch it. I'm like, why? Like, just watch it. I'm like, just okay. watch it. Embrace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the latest episode, man. Um, I don't have to deal with Mofet's writing these days. I have Ruby for that. I c- I can watch Ruby and enjoy myself. Yeah. yeah, it's good um, writing. Yeah, Ruby's the only show I'm following right now, honestly. So yeah, you know. I'm still watching My Little Pony. It's not as big as it used to be, but I'm still no, hating that. it yeah. there. We'll still... I didn't even know it was still going on. Yes, yeah, you're on our sixth season. We're going on to seven now. Holy shit! Is there like an arc going on or something like a storyline? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's a slice of life. So they have like small arcs at the beginning and the end of the oh, season, but in yeah. between it's just fluff. Okay, it's okay, just I fluff, see. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's fluff. kind of like Ruby Chibi in that way. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> I loved Pyrrha and Ruby Chibi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> people, people. Just the, the making... kind of senpai notice me little aspect about yeah. her, I would never have guessed, but it kind of fit at the same time, and it's yeah. kind of cute. Ruby Chibi well, was basically everything the fandom is thinking while watching the canon show. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, they're the very, that, very into the fans. Yeah. The thing that made me laugh the most was them acknowledging the little black shadow people in the background. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. funny. <laughs> you see them too? Oh my god, I thought I was the only one. <laughs> Have you oh my god. Have you look like us? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I, I, I hear something they, they acknowledge the off-character models in Volume 3, like the girl who's having, missing half a face or whatever. They, they had some weird models in Volume 3. I'm yeah. hoping to make fun of those, too. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward know. to Chibi Season 2. I thoroughly enjoyed Season 1. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's a good little thing to have while the show isn't on, because I get seriously bad Ruby withdrawals <laughs> after, like, four months of not watching the show. Um... Yeah, so I think we're gonna wrap this up. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, if you want to ask us questions, make sure to follow us on Twitter at shunib zero eight seven at corey one one three 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 at amanda sd six two six six two six. And yes. Indy, do you have a Twitter? Uh, no, I don't. We no, Ruby Bridge has a Facebook right. page. Yeah. Ruby Bridge has a Facebook, a Facebook page, though. So yeah. Page. So, yes, um, I'm never on uh, Facebook ever. Yeah, neither am I. Nobody uses but old people now. I just like I, I have my Facebook and Twitter linked, so when I post on Twitter, it posts on my Facebook. So, yeah. Um, Facebook is full of people I want to avoid from high school. <laughs> oh, I know. I just got yes, rid of all yes. those people off my Facebook. I have like I don't 50 use it. people on there. Um, yeah. So, uh, 
and go to the links in the description to find Ruby the Abridged series and go subscribe because there will be videos soonish. I'm not going to say soon, I'll say soonish. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, they'll the soon-ish, like, maybe, maybe only, maybe, we'll, don't worry, we'll get one out by December 31st, 2017, you know? You know, not, yeah. not too I've far. I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so. Do uh, you need help, like, editing and stuff? I've been working on video uh, editing yeah. recently. Okay, you can open it. I, 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 I gotta go see it. So, uh, yeah, Indy just had to go really fast, but we're wrapping this up anyway. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, thank you for consistently watching the podcast up until this point, um, even though our <laughs> schedule's been a bit weird. Um, mm -hmm. uh, chapter 9 may be out this weekend. It may be out next weekend. Um, so, yeah, I'll just keep you guys updated on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter. <laughs> um yeah, thank you so much for watching. Serenity, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. I'd love to be on again if you ever want to have me. Yeah, definitely. Um, we uh, will be returning for Volume 5 to do the podcast. Um, I'm going to try my hardest to get the finale episode streamed, uh, live streamed. I'm going to try, okay? I'm working on it. Um, yeah, so many people have been requesting that this be live streamed, so uh, I'll, keep you in, I'll keep you updated. Um, thank you for watching, and we'll see you for chapter nine. Goodbye! Bye! Bye! Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs>